So I want to give you a little feedback on who this artist is. His, his name is Raphael T. Raphael Armando T. Born on February 18, 1984, in America, singer, songwriter, dancer, musician, and recording producer. He debuted his single with Every Beat of My Art, released in late 2017 at peak at number 25 on the Billboard Dance Club songs. Wake up, wake up. Yes, 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 my people, yes, my people. Once again, tell a friend to tell a friend, keep the live alive by sharing the live broadcast. See you. My first time ever to speak with a, a renowned R&B artist, and I'm honored to have you on Artist Link Up Radio. You, um, courtesy of Jermaine Ford. So I, I appreciate you taking the time out of your very busy day, Mr. Tate, Mr. Prince of Soul, to come and share some love on um, your journey um, within the music industry. So because I this because this is my first time interviewing a, a soul artist, I'm gonna have you lead a little bit on this for me because as um. R and B. I can speak more on reggae music and reggae side for the most part, but music is international and it's an international language that most people understand. So, um, Prince of Reggae, uh, Raphael Tate, yes. talk to us about how you got started first in the in the in the music industry. Yes, indeed. Well, thank you for having me. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. It's an absolute pleasure to be here. You know, what I'm saying thank you to Jermaine. Big up Jermaine for um. Lincoln making a link. Uh mm -hmm. truly, truly appreciate it. And I wish peace and blessings on everybody that's on that's listening to this um podcast, uh live on Instagram or wherever y'all listening to it at. I miss yeah. you blessings. Okay, so um <clears throat> to answer your question, um I've been doing this R and B thing, I guess soul R and B thing since about two thousand ten or two thousand fourteen. Okay. Let's say yeah. two thousand fourteen. Yeah. Stepped out as an independent artist um, <clears throat> and just, you know, just been trying to make up music to make, you know what I'm saying, to uh, touch the hearts of man, you know what I mean? Yes. You know, make people fall in love and have some babies out here in these streets. Oh! <laughs> yes! So, so, but you know what, um, Raphael, you said you started out, you said, you said 20, 2014? Yeah. And you right. launched your first, your debut album in 2017, three years later? Yep. Yeah. Not many people get to do such thing in such short period of time. That's right. And from seriously, you said from 2014. So within a three year span, you you release, you you you, you launch your debut album. Tell us a little bit about it. Right. So I mean, it just took a lot of self belief and um, dreams came to me as a young man before I can even recognize that I can sing. My mom and my dad is a singer. My brother's a drummer. Um, and so I'm growing up around them and then also having the connections to be around some amazing musicians growing up. So I'm just sitting back watching, you know, and um, yeah. observing. And uh, and the dreams start happening that I'm going to be something special in this world as far as as an entertainer, as a singer. Um, and I just believed it. I believed it. Uh, went through some turmoil around 2009 and uh, moved, to, moved to Egypt. Not, okay, stop right here. Well, we're not, we're not, we're not gonna rush it. <laughs> we got a little time with you, Prince and Soul of so, Prince and Soul of R and B. I gotta remember, keep saying R and B because me we bust if me, me bust all the reggae, no bother, no bother vex with me because you do reggae me. But um, all right. So you you had in two thousand nine, you had a significant loss in your life. No, actually, um. It was a it was a bad breakup. It was a it was a okay. you know what I mean? Yeah. It was we went through And we all directions. go through it. We all go through situations like that in, in, in life. Because it's okay. such as life. Yeah. You have to brush yourself off, rebuild yourself, deal back and come again. But, but that, that breakup cause talk to us up now from there. Okay, so oh, oh, oh. Yeah. that breakup caused, you know what I'm saying, a move for me to go to Egypt. Egypt. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had an opportunity on the table and I took it. And, um, which 
I had a son, or I have a son, and I haven't spoke to him since that time. You know what I mean? He was an infant. He was about 11 months when me and his mom broke up. And in America, it's, it's, it's brutal, man. You can get restraining orders. You can get all types of things. And it will separate you, make you go crazy. And I decided to let, let me go ahead and take this trip. You know what I'm saying? That cool the heads prevail and see, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, see if we can work this out. It turned into a grudge thing where... Um, what 14 years later, 13 years later, I'm still not in contact with my son. So, you see, I'll something there. All right, yeah. so, no, when, the when pain, I, yes, the pen, yeah, go, go through, ahead. Through the pain, um, and determination, um, I, I put all these lessons together that, or all these, all this experience together, and started trying to produce, song write, you know, saying stretch out on my gift, and um, it, it led to 2014. Mm. So, um, 2014 is where you debuted. No, 2017. 2017. Mm -hmm. So, 2014, 2009 leads it to 2014. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Without Egypt, no. What going to Egypt? <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I, I know you're going to grace. No, Raphael, no, you're going to grace. The nice, good, good land, no, you know. You're going to grace. Biblical land, no. So, talk to us now. Guys, before me even drop any music, let's hear a little bit about Egypt. Okay, so I went out there, you know, saying, and being in Egypt, it allowed me to, you know, home in on my roots. Um, mm -hmm. I understand that we, uh, you know, saying, I like to say we from the Middle East. You know what I'm saying? Not right. just, we're not just African, you know, saying people, but we from the Middle East. Um, I believe that yeah. we, um, the Jamaicans, the Aborigines of Australia, the, the, um, the, the brothers and sisters in America, the Negroes from America, the Igbo, I believe that we are children of Israel, the lost tribes of Israel. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So um, Alexandria, Egypt is one, a piece of our land. You know what I mean? So going there it allowed me to connect a little bit, um, a lot of it, and, you know, saying mm -hmm. home into who I am and uh, and able to harness and possess this power that, that God has given us, every individual. And um, understanding that, that power and harnessing that power, you know, it allowed me to channel it into the music. Right. And In these times, especially times like now, we have to we have to open up our eyes and see and realize what is happening mm -hmm. around us as human beings. We cannot act like we are oblivious, mm -hmm. oblivious to what they are doing to us in our faces. And mm -hmm. some of us have our rights and willfully give them away. 100%. 100%, but not me. So we have to take heed and make note. Mm -hmm. but, um, <clears throat> there's so much layers, layers to you, Raphael, and I want to dig in a little bit um, more on some of your your accolades. I know you're, you're a musician. Yes, I know you're a producer. I know you're an engineer. I know you're an artist. I know you're a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> you actor? Oh, not yet. <laughs> All these things. So, um, I may be aspiring, aspiring <laughs> actor. Who knows? Um, but but talk to us a little bit about um these many hats that you refer to within your biography. Talk to us about how you balance them all and still being able to execute your music in the manner that you do. Well. Um, I dance, I dance for, you know what I'm saying, like, to keep myself, you know what I'm saying, in shape, I dance to, you know, keep, keep so it. So we're going to dance, I dance, Raphael. I do salsa, bachata, kazamba, bachata, kazamba, um, um, I want to start getting into the skanking, I really do. <laughs> skanking, yeah, you need to be a skank, but you're not doing a dance hall, you're not, you're not jumping on a dance hall, then you um, when I first started learning, which one, one of the dance, dance, which one of the Jamaican dance? No, Raphael, you have to go do better than this now. <laughs> Raphael, <laughs> Raphael, I know. You have to tell me now because you have, little reggae, you have a little reggae in your bones. Mm -hmm. So now, have a little reggae in your bones, you must have a little dance in your bones too. So tell me now, which one of the dancers sang them? You, 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 you think you can probably try and make and uh, uh, execute it? You talk about as far as dance moves? Yeah. I seen I seen this um this choreography done on a toe song. Um yeah. coffee, coffee toast. Yeah. 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 Yeah